This is just part of the rust we found, not counting the other misleading information such as the 99% efficiency on this Purelator Boss box. Because without the micron rating, that information is just misleading. We've definitely got a few surprises for you today. I'm really excited for you guys to see this one. Now, let's go ahead and check out these filters in greater detail. Amsoil on the right and the Fram Pro Synthetic on the left. The only problem I see here is the rust on the inside of the filter, guys, which is a big problem. Now, the Pennzoil on the left and our other base plate, the Pure Later Boss on the right, Pennzoil on the right, Mail on the left, they all seem to be good quality. Now we have the gaskets. This is for sealing the oil filter to make sure it doesn't leak on the block of the engine. You can see this guys, it's all natural rubber gaskets. Nothing special here. These definitely get the job done. Now let's go ahead and check out the anti-drain back valves. Amzul and Fram Pro Synthetic, they're silicone drain back valves. So is the Boss. Well, the Penzoil, not so much. You can see it's a natural rubber, the male. It doesn't even use that typical anti-drain back valve. It actually uses the valve I'm showing you guys here, which has this spring in the center, and there's a gasket inside there to help seal it off. This way you're able to get engine oil flow at really cold temperatures. Check out this rust, guys. Unbelievable. Even rust on the bottom of the Fram Pro Synthetic. Now I will admit that this is definitely going to get a lot worse. You can see as well. I found it on other Fram filters, not just this one. There's definitely a quality concern. Now I see why they puddle the oil inside of their filters. But for some reason, it's just not getting the job done. You can see the male filter used the coil spring. And right here we have the Amzul on the right, Pro Synthetic Fram on the left, both use high quality synthetic media materials. The AMS oil is a 15,000 mile oil filter and the Fram Pro Synthetic, it's 15,000 miles as well. Top and bottom steel end caps. Now the steel center tubing of the Fram, but there's a plastic center tubing for the AMS oil filter. Amzoil and Fram both use steel mesh backing for more stability and longer engine oil drain intervals. The Pennzoil on the left, Purelator Boss on the right. As you can see, the Purelator uses a synthetic media material and the Pennzoil, not so much. The cheap cellulose, you can see just how easily this stuff just tears right apart. Guys, don't forget to let me know what oil filter you'd like to see cut open next, even one for your very particular vehicle. Just make sure to include the make and model. And if you've included this before, well guys, be patient, I'm trying to reach everyone as soon as possible. Well, unfortunately with a 99% efficiency for the boss, it's not really going to help much as I said, because this could be at 50 microns. I doubt it's that high, but you never know. Now for this male filter, it has a cellulose material. As you can see, just how weak this stuff is, it tears very easily, and you can manipulate it very easily. Not the greatest construction. You can see the rust on the bottom of this Fram Pro Synthetic filter, and how it's built up. Now let's do a quick overview of all the oil filters. Fram Pro Synthetic Anti-Drain Back Valve Silicone Synthetic Media 15,000 mile intervals Steel mesh is used $10 oil filter Natural rubber gasket Amsoil 99% efficiency at 20 microns Synthetic Media Anti-Drain Back Valve Silicone 15,000 miles Made in the USA $12 Steel mesh is used Penzoil made in the USA, cost $7, filter media, cellulose, 10,000 mile oil change intervals, 96% efficiency at 20 microns or larger, 
anti-drain back valve, natural rubber. Gasket material, natural rubber. Purelator Boss, 100% synthetic media, no steel mesh is used, silicone anti-drain back valve, 15,000 mile oil change intervals, $12 oil filter. Mel Filter, made in Germany, 99% efficiency, could not find the correct micron rating. Cellulose material, cost $15. Thanks for watching, Nate's Interactive Auto.